Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how to create a Windows user form in the VBA environment. One user form which can read what's on the screen. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is go to your developers tab and select Visual Basic. In Visual Basic go to your insert user form button and just select user form. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a label. I'm actually going to create a few labels but I'm just going to put the item number and the caption. Under that I'm going to draw a text box. And I'm going to go in to put I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to highlight it and copy just to make life a little easier. going to put wholesale and then suggested retail price I need to expand I need to increase the width that way it fits and I'm, the last thing I'm going to do is put unit of measure and I'm just going to change the caption on that last label and the only thing that I'm going to do here is just kind of create like a, a search function I'm going to draw the a command button and all this is going to say is just search and so what I'm going to want this to do is I'm going to type in an item number on the user form and I want it to give me the wholesale suggested retail and unit of measure and that way we get this information on the actual user form so I'm gonna go on and click double click my search button and all I'm gonna do is write some code out we I know the name of this sheet is stock so I'm gonna put row number is equal to zero I'm gonna do 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 events I'm gonna do item in review is equal to sheets I'm going to do stock dot range A and the row number. And I'm just going to put loop until item in review is equal to blank or nothing. So double quote, double quote. And this is just a repetition statement. And I'm going to put at the beginning of the repetition statement row number is equal to row number plus one. And the next thing I'm going to do is put a NIF statement. If the item in review is equal to text box one dot text, then and if text box one dot text is the first text box that we created, I'm getting the name from the properties panel. It says text box one, and then dot text is just the property of the field. We have it right here, text. And so what we're going to do is if the item in review that we're looking at column A and the row number. If the item in review is equal to text box one dot text, then we're gonna put text box two dot text is equal to and we said that's gonna be the wholesale price. So to get the wholesale price that's gonna be we're gonna copy this code, sheets, stock, and the row number, but we're just gonna change the column. We don't want column A, we're gonna want we said that's wholesale, so we're gonna want column B. and then text box 3 is going to be the retail and then unit of measure text box 4 so I'm going to just copy and paste the previous line I'm just going to put, and I'm going to copy it twice so I can just change text box 2 to text box 3 and then this next text box 2 to text box 4 and again we said text box 3 is going to be the suggested retail suggested retail is in column C and then the unit of measure is in column D. So this should work. We're going to try this out. I'm going to go to my user form and I'm going to hit F5 to play it. And I'm going to type in, let's just say item 10006. If I hit search, 
that information does correspond. It's 835, 2495, and then one each. So this is a real quick basic user form that allows you to get information from the sheet. And in the next video, what I'm going to show is how you can make changes on the user form and it will it'll send these changes to the workbook. That now concludes this video though. Thank you for watching.